If there's one thing that can turn a great day out in the woods into something far less so, it's got to be the bugs, right? Just, ah, man, bug season. Here it is, Nova Scotia, mid-July. The temperatures are up around 30 degrees Celsius. It's rained for the last two weeks. I hiked out here into the woods today. I'm soaked. I'm just drenched from all the humidity. It's also like almost 100% humidity out here. The mosquitoes have been waiting for me, I am sure. They knew that I was coming and they just saved up all their energy and waited for me, as well as the deer flies. But I had them fooled. I had a secret weapon. I have the Tiny and the Max Repel from Flextail, and it has really driven them off. All right, if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on these two devices, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I want to thank Flextail Gear for sending me the Tiny and Max Repel so that I could share them with you. Now, the quick backstory is the reason I accepted these is because I've been relying on this for a long while. This is the Thermocell, and most of you are familiar with these. Most of you may have tried them at one point, and if you have, you know what I've already discovered as well, is that they work, but they're expensive to run. So the pads themselves, the, the uh, repellent pads and the gas cartridges can really add up. And yes, I know there are some alternatives. I'll talk about that a little later in the video. But when uh, they were on, these two devices, the Tiny and the Max Repel were offered to me, I thought, well, I wonder if they are a cost-effective alternative. Well, let's take a closer look at the two of them. I'll give you the comparisons between the two in terms of their key features. All the information will, of course, be in the video description, and I'll try to leave most of that there so we can get on with my experiences with them. All right, we're going to start with the Max Repel, because this is the one I've had the longest, and it's very, very simple operation. They share a lot of the same technologies and same capabilities between the two of them, so I'll just go over this one first. So let's just start with a few things. The key features, both devices, for that matter, both have a range of between 10 and 30 feet. And that's because you can press the button on here, the on-off button, to give it that range, either 10 or 30 feet. I'll explain more about what that means in a minute. In fact, what it's about is they have two modes, outdoor mode, which they call or high mode, and camping mode, low mode. And basically, it's how much heat they'll put through the repellent pads and how far the uh, repellent will distribute. So they both have double-sided mats, so you can put a mat in on either side. I'll show you the mats in a minute. You can see them in the slots there, so you can run two mats, one or two mats at the same time, depending on how much repellent you think you need. Both of them can operate as a battery bank, so it is your need for this, though, a double-ended USB Type-C, because that is the charging port and the outgoing port for charging other devices, so you will need a, a uh, some type of a USB fast charge cable, and you can also see right there where the four LEDs would be to give you uh, charge status. On off button right here, you long press it to turn the item on. It will show green in the LED indicating the camping mode. If you press it again, it'll go to red, which is the hotter of the two modes for the outdoor mode, supposedly dispersing the repellent even further. All right, now just a few things about this. It weight 7.4 ounces, 210 grams. It has a built-in 9600 milliamp hour battery rated for 14 hours. That would probably be on the lowest heat setting, of course. It is waterproof to an IP65, so that's dust and waterproof rating, which isn't bad. I'm not you're not going to be using this in the pouring rain, nor, neither are you going to be dunking it under water. Dimensions overall, well, I'll put that in the video description below. So what else comes with it? Obviously, well, put the battery part co cover closed. There is a lanyard, a USB Type-C charging cable, and repellent pads, if I can reach in here and grab them. So this is the bag the repellent pads came in and I'll give you a close up on those in a few moments time. All right, so there's that device. Now let's bring the other one in to the picture and I'll give you some information on this. So this is the Tiny Repel, the newer of the devices from Flextail Gear, and they've incorporated all the same technology as far as being a bug repeller, but they've added a number of things to, as well. So first off, what is it? It's a mosquito repeller like the other. It has slots for two of the repellent pads here. 
It is USB rechargeable, does come with a cable. Right there is the LEDs to tell you what your battery status is as well. And like the other one, it is a power bank for charging other devices uh, um, from this one. But it has some other features on top of that. To start with, there is a carabiner on top. Yeah, just a nice little carabiner. I'll talk about where I think this will be the best use in a few moments time. And it is a magnetic base on it. And you can see it has a quarter Quarter turn 20 thread so anything that will accept a camera any type of a tripod or anything else would uh, this can be mounted on it as well in fact I did bring a small one I'll show it to you well, here it is right here one of these little tiny ones that can be screwed in to this so if you do want it up a little higher then you can mount it on that or any tripod for that matter so it's kind of a nice little extra but the big thing about this that's different is this, this has a lamp with a number of illumination settings on it as well. So it kind of doubles up. And where I see this having the benefit over the other one is, of course, the additional features of the lamp, having the carabiner, having the magnetic base, having the quarter inch 20 thread on the bottom. Yeah, all right, so let's just do a few specifications for it and then I'll talk about the two of them in operation. So this weighs 5.2 ounces. It has an IPX5 rating. Interesting that this has an IPX5 and the other one has an IP65 rating, but it's the same waterproofness. It just means the other one has been rated for dust protection where this one hasn't been rated for dust protection. It has a built-in battery as well, a 4,800 milliamp hour battery inside. And if I haven't mentioned, it's the same for both of them. The battery is non-accessible. You can't get in and change it out. They're 18650 batteries, to the best of my knowledge. I can't find confirm that, but just by looking at it, that my experience tells me it's probably an 18650 battery in here. This will last, oh, I don't know, outdoor mode. It says it'll last for seven hours, and on camping mode, 10 hours. So just not quite as long because the as the other one will and battery of half the strength so you there you're giving up some of the milliamp hours or half of milliamp hours in order to get the additional features and smaller size and lighter weight with this one all right I had to take a quick break there for a moment I had a deer fly lie and land on the back of my head and uh, yeah you know how much I hate deer flies you should know this, that these are for mosquitoes, black flies, chiggers, any other small flying biting insect, but they're no good for deer flies or horse flies. The only thing I've found that's been effective for that, of course, is my dragonfly wingman. Now, I just want to talk about this one more minute before we get into uh, my thoughts on them. So this being a lantern, and you're not going to be able to see this in the daytime, so I'll just have to explain that it does do, do this. It has four levels of illumination between 50 and 400 lumens, and that's rated to last between 9 and 50 hours. Now, not when it's in competition with the repeller, the heating pads inside. Of course, you're not, you can't do all of those things. It's all sharing the same battery. All right, and the last thing to do is this one came with a case. The other didn't, by the way. The Max Repel did not have a case, but this comes with a nice hard-sided case, and I'll open this up to show you because inside of the case, I have the repellent pads, and I'll dig those out, and you can see the USB Type-C charging cable here. All right, repellent pads. I want to share one of those with you because I'm going to turn it on because the mosquitoes are coming back, and I've had this on most of the day so far. I'm not sure how long I've had it on, so I can't tell you how long these pads are going to last, but what I am going to do is put a new pad in just the same. It gives me an opportunity to show you. So these are the repellent pads that you get. They're similar to what you get with the Thermacell, but smaller, of course. But two of these together would be about the same size as the one from the Thermacell. Why don't I just bring the Thermacell back in in a moment? So you can see two of these pads would be about the same size as the one in the Thermacell. And that's just fine because now I can put two of them in this device. So to put one in, you start by, if there's one already there, you're basically pushing one out as the other goes in and you're good to go. Now I am going to turn this on. Here is the on off button here. So on one side is the repeller and it's kind of gives little steam symbols like little S's. And on the other side is the lantern. So to operate it, you double press. And you can see now that it has gone to green. That is the camping mode. So that is going to give me the most protection in the, in the closest area with this. So I'm just going to set this down now. I'm going to pull the camera back and I'm going to talk about my experiences using these. I don't know if it's showing up on camera right now or not, but 
that deer fly has just been buzzing around my head. <laughs> Did I ever wish I brought my dragonfly wingman with me? What a mistake that was. Okay, when I opened up the video, I had talked about the thermosel. A lot of people have these. A lot of people love using them. And yes, they are very effective. Had this one for a few years. I usually don't take it hiking with me. I usually rely on DEET or one of the other uh, synthetic that you put on yourself or having a smoky fire, honestly, is one of the better things to have. But when we're car camping and we can't always been having a fire, this is what usually sits between us when, as we um, uh, sit at night. Now, these have a limitation. They work well within their design, but they have a limitation, and that is they have to create a cloud of, of the vapors. Now, it's hard to tell. I mean, there is a little viewing port. You know it's on by looking inside. You can see the light inside to say that it is, in fact, operating. But sometimes you can see like a little bit of a fog coming off of the repellent pad. Sometimes you can't. And, but at the same time, I can't smell them. Maybe you can, but I can't smell them to see if they're operating or not. You just kind of have to trust that they are. So you lay this down on the ground or put it on the table or wherever else you want, and you hope that it's doing its job. And they do. But they have, like I said, some limitations. They need to have relatively still air. I've got that today. Let me tell you, 30 degrees, 98% humidity, very, very still. It's just a, a beautiful time for black, if you're a black fly or a mosquito. This is when this is going to work the best, is when the air is still like this and you're not moving. So it can build that cloud, if you will, of defense all around you. And as I mentioned, though, the downside to these things is the replaceable gas cartridge is in the bottom. Now, I said I would address that and as well as the repellent pads in them as well. There are a lot of people who uh, recognize the same issue. They're expensive to go buy in those gas cartridges. Can't you refill them? Yes, you can. In fact, I'm going to attempt to do that. But it's suspect at best. I know that some people trust in doing this. I'm a little concerned that if you don't do it correctly, you could end up with a gas leak from the cartridge that you've reloaded. And that could be, well, either it's going to be a bit of a risk causing a fire or you're going to go to it and it's all leaked out and it's not doing you any good either. Uh, so I'm not advocating, but I'm not telling you not to do it. It's just you beware of what it is you're getting to. In any case, you still have to buy gas. You just can't uh, use a battery to recharge your repeller and, and have it work for you like you can with the Max Repel and the mini repel or the tiny repel. Sorry, so you can see this one is on. I've got the tripod on and it's sitting at the, my feet right here to help get rid of some of the mosquitoes and black flies, mostly mosquitoes today. Uh, that's where these things come in. Look how much smaller this is, yet I can put two pads inside of this and have it function exactly the same, except that it's using the battery to operate a heating pad inside underneath where each of these repellent pads are. And that heating pad, by the way, it's interesting, they actually wrote it right on the outside of the tiny repellent. Can you see that? 165 degrees Celsius. That's how hot these things get inside to force the repellent out. Now, here's the thing. I can't smell these either. I don't see anything coming off them. The only way I know that they're working or appear to be working is you can probably see this one. This has the older pad. Can you see how a lot of the blue is starting to turn white inside of this? I put a second pad in this one earlier today and it is still very blue. Now, the other way I've noticed, at least with this device, it's not doing it yet, but I expect it will, is that after a bit of time, I seen it looks like it's a bit damp or a bit wet on the outside of the device. And uh, yeah, so it uh, that's another way of knowing. But really, in order to know whether or not they've run out of their repellent chemical inside of them, is two things. Either you kept a track of how long they were on, or the mosquitoes came back. I don't know which one is the more effective way of doing it. I, I haven't been very good at tracking how long these have been on. I turn it on and it works. And then when it stops working, I go over to see if it needs a, a new repellent pad. Yeah, okay, so these work as well. I'm gonna say that. They work as well as the thermocell does. So if you're wondering if they are effective at repelling mosquitoes, the answer is yes, they do really work well but they have the added benefit of being able to be recharged for free. Well, it does, okay, it does take some electricity. You do have to have a battery and cable to be able to do that. Maybe you have a rechargeable battery like a power bank and a solar cell, whatever it is, or you have some host current or somewhere that you can recharge it. So it's not 
totally free, but it's virtually free. By comparison to the little butane cartridges, the, these things power up free. You have some alternatives with this thing. It's not an all or nothing. With the thermocell, you can't regulate how much of it is being used, how hot it's going to get. You turn it on and that's it. With this, you have the two settings, the camping and outdoor mode, and you have slots for two pads so you can put in one or two just how much you think you're going to need and how many bugs are around you. All right, so what are some of the advantages and disadvantages one to the other? Well, as I mentioned earlier, this has a 9600 milliamp battery, so this one's going to run a lot longer, or if you need to use some of that power to power up your phone or something, you've got that as well with this. But it's a one-trick pony or a two-trick if you include the power bank. It doesn't have any other added features. This one has a couple, doesn't it? This has the lamp. It also has the mounting system with the quarter turn, tw uh, quarter inch 20 thread and magnetic base and carabiner. So this is a little bit more versatile as well as being a little bit smaller and a little bit lighter, but it has less battery power. So I guess in that way, it depends on what you need. Where I see this coming in really well is, well, with that mount, put it on a picnic table, or as I'm doing, I'm putting it right on the ground next to my seat here and allowing the cloud to build up around me as it's intended to do. Or I guess if you're under a tarp and you have a guy line or in it, even inside, I don't know if I'd use this inside of a tent, shouldn't need to, right, inside of a tent. But if I'm under a tarp, say hammock camping or tarp camping, that little carabiner could go on your ridge line. It will give you the repellent effect and you've got a lamp for whatever you need a lamp for under your tarp. Yeah, so a little bit versatile. Okay, so my experience has been so far is they're working. It's working right now. I have no mosquitoes. I still got a few deer flies buzzing around me, but I have no mosquitoes buzzing around me at this time. So I'll call that a win. I'll call that a uh, uh, good proof, at least for me, that these are effective. All right, let's just wrap this video up. Okay, I'm going to wrap this video up by saying um, I will come back at some point and talk about refilling these cartridges, the little butane cartridges, to extend their life. And I, what I have seen also is in terms of those repellent pads is the type that I use, I'm using with the flex tail. You can get two of them in side by side if you want to go that way. So um, flex tail gear sells all kinds of repellent pads. In fact, if you go to the website and you're interested in purchasing one of these two, the tiny repeller or the max repel, it might be a good idea to get the extra repellent pads all at the same time so that you have everything that you need. You can try them in this inside of these if you want and see if it's going to work. You know, a couple of things here is look at the size of this by comparison to the other two. Effective, yes, but I don't know. It's not much heavier, but it is twice, three times the size almost of the other one. Again, it works. It's just the cost of running it. Okay, so I'll tell you this. In the future, I'm using these two electronic ones when Gina and I go car camping. Uh, I'll be using it out here in the woods as an alternative to putting DEET or anything else on my body, or if it's a burn ban and I can't get a nice smoky little fire going, that's what I'll be using. But I am going to be wearing my Dragonfly wingman for these deer flies. I really regret not bringing that today. Okay, I'll put all the information I have, including the prices and the links, in the video description below. If you have any comments or questions for either of these two devices, put those in the comments section below as well. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.